Good job again on the trial. Impressive. You ready to go meet the boss now? Here she is, boss. The new recruit with the crazy powers. It was just like you said, the crux <laughs> lit up like a candle. Perfect timing. Huh? Glad you could make it. Took you long enough, didn't it? Fang. What? No hugs and tears for an old friend? Not like I'd expect it, though. If you'd shouted Fang and hugged me, what? I might have had a heart attack oh. on the spot. Well, yeah, you guys know each other. But I'm glad to see you're still the same. It's been a long time, after all. Though I guess a part of you has changed. Hmm. You're more than just human now. You're on a mission from God now. Right, Savior? So you know who I am. Isn't it nice not having to explain things? Yeah, I heard all the stories hanging out with the God Squad in Luxurian. They love talking about their savior. You were with the Order, but ditched them to come out here to be a gang leader. Those priests aren't exactly my kind of people. I stuck around to look after Vanille, but then something else came up. I'm after the Clavis now. It's been sealed away for ages, though, and no one's got even close to it. I was beginning to think I'd have to give up. But then you came along and worked your magic with that crux. How about we team up? I want to get that clavis before the order does. How about a friend, Lightning? How could I refuse an old friend? It'll be like old times, right? <laughs> All right. I'll show you what we have on the ruins. We've got lots to talk about. Like what the Order is up to. And Vanille, too. <laughs> anyway, we've got ourselves a deal. If you're going into those ruins, I'm coming too. We'll get that Holy Clavis and take down anyone that gets in our way. The boss turned out to be someone you knew, Erba Yun Fang. You once fought alongside her many years ago. You do realize that you did too, right? Yet you sure make it sound like it has nothing to do with you. Well, yes, we did fight together once. A long, long time ago. All right, lads. Take the sand out of your ears. idea to talk the expedition through, to make sure we're on the same page. So what you're looking for is the Holy Clavis, a mystical relic said to gather the souls of the dead and believed to lie in this desert. Both Monoculus, the gang of bandits headed by Fang, and the Secutors of the Order have tried in vain to find the treasure. If you're lost in the desert, please climb up. You should have a clearer view of most of the desert.
think you're doing blundering around here and interrupting my precious sleep? You lost or something? Just looking for a story. I hear that you once had big dreams of striking it rich. <sighs> Whatever dreams I had have been lost under the sands. Then why stay? Why stick it out in the desert? I owe it to my wife. She's gone now, but the one thing she valued more than her own life is still out there, in that desert. If I could just get it back, I'd be gone from here and never look back. What could be so important? Her arithmometer. Back when she was alive, back when we still had our shop, my wife was in charge of keeping the books. I never was good at numbers. But my wife, Monica, <laughs> she lived by that arithmometer. We're gonna have great sales this month. Next month will be the one for us. Plugging numbers into that silly thing of hers. All with the most joyous smile you've ever seen. Hmm. <laughs> that smile of hers. That was my real treasure. And then one day those monsters stole my treasure away from me. Everything ended. My business. My life. I lost Monica. And her smile. Now the only wares I have to sell to anyone are regret and despair. I see. I'm sorry. Do you really think you'll be able to move on if you find your wife's memento, though? Sure as the desert's dry. If I could just find that arithmometer for her, I'd be done with this place in a heartbeat. You should consider looking for that arithmometer. Help Ramon move on. You need any support? Welcome! You do know of to buy- Not that there are- Gil won't do you much good out in the desert. Might as well use it now to get the things that may save your miserable life. Okay. 
like a thing they say appears in these rooms. You know what they say you hear it first. A creepy one. So it was you. Time to let loose, Lightning. God, it's been ages since I've had some fun. Let's make this worth it. Fang, there's one thing I need to know. Why would you want to summon the souls of the dead? What exactly are you planning on doing with the clavis? Me? I'm not the one who wants the damn thing. I wouldn't even know what to do with it. It's Vanille who needs it. For some reason, when we woke up from the crystal, she picked up some strange new ability. Now she hears the voices of the dead. She says she can pick up on all the feelings of those souls that are trapped in the chaos. According to her, it's like listening to a thousand different voices all crying out at once. And she's the only one who can hear them. Or something. And that power is exactly why the Order became interested in her. If Vanille gets that holy clevis, and she uses it, she should be able to call all those souls to her. So the Order plans to gather all the souls of the dead? Why? To save them? Come on, it's me you're talking to. No need to play stupid. You ought to know. You're here under their orders, aren't you? High and mighty savior. I wouldn't assume anything if I were you. I'm not here for the order. It seems like you don't see eye to eye with them, though. Care to share? <laughs> That's a story for later. Come on, we're wasting time we don't have. If the Secutors snatch up the clavis first, I'd never forgive myself. There's a place I want to check out first. A door. It's got something good behind it. Or I'm not a bandit. I'm thinking that maybe a savior can get it open. Let's go see what you can do. I'll let you know when we're there. Don't rush inside like a fool. There's nowhere to rest in the ruins if you get hurt. Sure, there are sure. Fang's right, you know. I've been able to plot numerous shortcuts out of the ruins. But every last one... Isn't that what I'm here for? Maybe I can undo those seals, too. You had better. Why else do you think I let a slacker like you into my prestigious gang of near -dealers? Because I use my... Together, we can't lose! <laughs> Like noticing that if We open up all those doors. We're inviting the Order to walk right in, too. Ugh, and most likely will. Those Secutors live just to get in my way, I swear. Annoying little bastards.
と。by something stronger than family. I can't imagine what would have made Fang leave Vanille behind on her own. Something important to ask with her. You may find treasure, or find yourself knee-deep in skeletons. If you did. We'll meet in a different world. With all your technology? Chaos has distorted both space and time. Of time. We can no longer trust our first measurements to be accurate. I thought it might help you find the clavis if I could find out more about who built these ruins and why. But it looks like that's simply not possible. Deactivated. You can't read me. Cheat activated.
deactivated. Deactivated. <laughs> Cheat activated. It's hard to believe that up until 13 years ago, Vanille and I were stuck in that crystal pillar. It was a long sleep. Well, hell, it's been hundreds of years since the days we fought together, as we see. And before we met, I was stuck in another damn crystal. I've been asleep more than a thousand years of my life. I did the math. Technically, I think that makes me the oldest hag on the planet. Not that I'll ever act my age. Wouldn't be much fun. Deactivated. <laughs> Cheat activated. <laughs> you see strange devices all over the ruins. Nothing we've done has ever made them work. But why don't you try your savior magic? Will you? Tell me twice. I can feel it from here. You think it's the power of the clavis? It seems likely. The reason that you can feel anything light is because the clavis reacts to the savior. So, it wants me to come in and say hi. I get it. But this door doesn't seem to agree. It's shut. Yes. 
is protected by a particularly nasty seal. My analyses suggest that the key to undoing this seal is hidden in the murals. There are three murals within this ruin which describe the true story of the gods. Only one who has seen them with their own eyes and has understood the truth of the gods will be able to pass through that great gate, the sacred gate, to reach the Holy Clavis. Three murals, huh? Somehow I don't think a little art appreciation will be all I need to get that clavis. Well, the good news is, I know where the murals are. To see them all, you'll have to visit three galleries that are located elsewhere in the ruins. Hmm. Well, of course they are. Deactivated. It's almost certain that you won't be able to open it without a special crux designed for such a purpose. Find that crux. Light, are you keeping an eye on your surroundings? That crest marks another seal, but I think you'll be able to break it with your powers. And the crux, of course. Alright, you can't break the seal with brute force. I'd say this is a shortcut out of the ruins. Good to know if you need to get back to the desert fast. Since you went to the trouble of unsealing the door, why don't you follow the path and see exactly where it leads? I've been surveying the desert all but I have been completely... What is this? Oh, there are so many things I can tell you. And, and so I'm... I think... Yes, I could tell you were in town. Do you expect me to head out? Oil? I'm near the sun. Beside the... Somewhere at the base of... Those are the... I can have a... Ah. Uh, I am... There are more? Yes. And now you should... That is some... It seems that robots like that Bhakti were you. Thank you very much, but I suppose I am just a robot. A few creeks are only natural. I do envy you. Maintenance? No. Yes, but the humans these days do not age nor die. Compared to a robot, that get better if it breaks down. You well, now you... They are just... I'm surprised that any of the bots are still functioning. It certainly looked its age, but it carried on a conversation fine enough. Do you care to examine? I don't think... Everything. 
everyone. I do apologize for your long wait. You must have been quite troubled by being trapped in here for such a long time. Do not worry. You are free now to leave. There does not appear to be a response. Do you suppose they are sleeping? Are your friends out of fuel too? If they're like you, then they'll just need their tanks filled to be up and running again. I'm afraid they would have little use for such fuel. They are humans after all. What did you say? up again. Never start up again. But we are finally reunited after so long. I rationed my fuel so carefully, all in an effort to witness the end of the world together with them, my dear friends. I had no idea that they needed constant refueling. They must have thought that I had abandon them here I don't think they did they would have known that you were doing everything you could to save them I'm sure they were grateful for that I thank you humans are a kind species I truly did love these human companions of mine farewell my friends Bhakti, you were the best friend these people could have hoped for. The light of these souls, they're the proof of how grateful your friends were. Cheat activated. It appears that Bhakti finally reached his limits. All of his functions have shut down. Hope, what do you think this is? Can even a robot? possess something like a soul? I don't see how it could. A robot isn't made by God, but by man. Deactivated. But I do believe Bhakti fell for his dead companions. Perhaps those bonds gave him something like a soul. It's a nice fantasy to ponder, but hardly likely. So Bhakti's just a hunk of metal that broke down next to its old owner, eh? I don't think I could get along with someone who thought like that. Cheat activated. Deactivated. Cheat activated. Deactivated.
more than you want. one of the galleries. You should find a mural of the gods there. A good band it always is, right? sound like I'm complaining, but I don't see any kind of mural around here. What's the story? How disappointing. This is certainly the spot, but it seems that you'll have to activate the mural before we can view it. The device is missing a key component. The tablets. That's what you need. Find them and we should be able to activate the device and display the mural. Okay, so tell me about these tablets. Can we find them in the ruins? No, afraid not. But I know where we can find them. There are three shrines out here in the desert. Don't know who built them or why. All we know is what the ancients called them. The Shrines of the Tablets. Right. Sounds like the place to look. I guess you really do know a lot about this desert. Hey, you think we bandits were just twiddling our thumbs out here? 
If you want to go back out into the desert to search for the tablets, it'll be quickest to use one of the shortcuts to the surface to get out of the ruins. It's your funeral! Of course, we weren't just sleeping away our days in that pillow. Hardly. We could feel what was going on in the world. So it all seemed like some... We saw you disappear. We also saw your sister head out on her journey. Eventually, we even got to see the world fall apart. You couldn't imagine how we felt while we just watched as the world slowly crumbled apart. Like a nightmare you couldn't wake up from. Fang, get 
my back. You know, we were holding up half the world. Not like it's something I can brag about, though. It wasn't heroic at all. It was more like atonement for all we'd done wrong before. No, not even that. There's no amount of atonement that will ever make right all the deaths we caused, all the lives that were destroyed. I know Vanille worries about that. She wants to make up for it, and she believes with all her heart that she can. Done is done, but she won't accept that. You've made it pretty far in, haven't you? You're gonna keep going? Good luck! <laughs> an unusual aura. I'll take that. I'm sorry. My intent... Mm, tell me. My name is Nolan. There is said to be a beast. A beast with frightful power beyond I am quite certain now. And you want me to... F Indeed. This is my theory. When the battle... That is when the beast will... Attain. A monster that only appears when... Indeed. In the... According to my calculations, which are based on... You have proof? I know. The day that time... So what happened? It only achieved physical form. Because the world... That is my thing. All indicate... I want you... Why worry about... There is a... I believe that this beast comes from outside. Unlike those of us living, there is something... So what do you say? An enemy? Oh. I might as well. I am comf... Got it. Here is all the reason. Yeah. I'll there is not much time left until the end.
Fang, get my back. know how to make a girl wait, don't you? Let's do this. Choco Vocalina! No one must have wished for anything to do. You today. want to go to Luxor South Station or the Wildlands? And who doesn't? Get on it. Here for the train? Sorry, Lightning, but I am the boss and all. I can't be seen waltzing off and leaving the dead dunes. When you come back, I'll find you again.
Welcome to Wildlands. Passengers for the Dead Dudes and Luxarian South Station, please board now. Thank you. So this is the last surviving wilderness. once was, nature's last stand. Wild beasts still live and die here as they always have. It's raw in nature, red in tooth and claw, and the chaos here is just as dangerous. The people who live out here are not like the city dwellers. They're different. They don't follow the teachings of the order. And they don't want to rely on handouts either so they strive to live off the land. A refuge for those who refuse to be tamed. Is that it? Light! The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead whence the chaos flows. Here you will meet the servant of fate, adorned with feathers of white. The angel of Valhalla. Light? What just happened? I heard a voice. It said that I've been led here, and I'm supposed to meet someone. The Angel of Valhalla. What kind of voice? I didn't pick anything up on this end. A young girl, but I don't think she's close. It was more like she was speaking from the chaos itself. I just ran a search on this angel person, but it came up blank. Maybe you should ask the locals. Yeah? What do you want? I have a question for you. Have you ever heard of someone called the Angel of Valhalla? Hey, you must be new to these parts. There's not a man or woman here that doesn't know the Angel. The Angel of Valhalla isn't a person. It's a legendary chocobo, covered in feathers as white as the clouds. It's the sacred bird that only appears at the end of the world. So it's a local legend, then? Yeah, a legend. At least that's what it used to be. But in recent times, many folk have seen the bird with their own two eyes. A lot of us are thinking maybe that story is true. Maybe it is, but Dr. Ghazal has been after it for years, and he still doesn't have proof that the beast is the one from legend. Dr. Ghazal? Who would that be? The famous veterinarian, of course. A prickly character with the temper of a behemoth. But he loves his chocobos. When it comes to the angel, he's the leading expert in all of the wildlands. The doctor lives up the road a bit, in the village of Canopus Farms. If you catch him in a good mood, he'll help you out. Um, maybe. Hmm. A white chocobo at the end of the world. There's nothing about this in any of the official scriptures of the Order. It's a local story, a superstition. Even you again? the Angel of Valhalla. I want to know who it was. If you think that's what you need to do, then go ahead. You have a lead, at least. Right. A bad-tempered chocobo vet by the name of Dr. Ghazal. Hmm. They said I could find him at the farms. However it happens, I have to win. That went well, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Activated. It's time you were reborn. Time for hesitation. No time for hesitation. I'm with the hunters of you. The other hunters said they were gonna head. The other hunters? <laughs>
Time for hesitation. This is Yog Woods. The thick, tangled foliage draws monsters who seek cover in the dark shadows.
my ears and tail. Activated. Together. 